Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, 2011 spy thriller starring the who's who of British actors. Gary Oldman, Mark Strong, John Hurt, Colin Firth, uh, Toby Jones, Benedict Cumberbatch, Stephen Graham and Tom Hardy. It is based on a novel written by John Le Carre and is partly based on his own experiences in the MI5 and MI6 and as such <clears throat> it is widely regarded as one of the most accurate works of art in the genre. The fact that it is so lifelike um, means that it is devoid of any Bond-style car chases and sleeping with beautiful women all, all the time. In this world, being a spy means mostly a lot of paperwork, uh, a lot of fighting bureaucracy and having vague conversations with various people. The action is non-existent and the pace glacial. But that's fine, really, because the plot manages to be engaging enough to not require any of that flashiness. And uh, the plot, also partly based on real events, centers around George Smiley, played by Oldman, who is a former senior officer at the MI6, uh, and a couple of months after he is fired, he is approached again by the minister that stands above the agency, and he's told about a possible mole within the organization. There is a suspicion that one of the very top agents, very top officers of MI6, actually works for Moscow. Uh, Smiley reluctantly agrees to come out of retirement and find out who that is. So the whole film is basically like a slow investigation book. A large part of that investigation consists of talking to various people, reviewing documents, comparing the testimonies with one another and with paper trails, and trying to make sense of it all. And for a very long time there is a distinct lack of an easy to follow linear plot. Uh, until the pieces begin to fall into their places, both Smiley and the viewer uh, are mostly looking at a very chaotic picture of events. As a result, the movie is not that easy to follow, and I'd certainly recommend focusing on it entirely while watching. And I'd avoid checking your phone or talking to your friends in the meantime, because you will lose track of what's going on. And in this particular film, following what's going on is directly related to the amount of fun you'll get out of it. Uh, as I said, there is no flashiness, no dynamic sequences. The entire point is to treat it like a huge puzzle and trying to solve it along with Smiley. In terms of how mundane the investigation was at times, it reminded me of Homeland, the TV series, also renowned for its accuracy in showing um, the inner workings of a spy agency, in that case, modern-day CIA. Back to the film, though, I think that the fundamentals on which it stands are the production design and the performances. And the first thing is pretty obvious and um, has to do with the sets, the clothes, the furniture, uh, the colors used. I think it's all done marvelously and just transports you back into the 1950s and 1960s London, uh, allows you to be there with the characters. And the characters themselves are played wonderfully well. Uh, as could be expected with a cast like this, honestly. I think the standout performances are, of course, Oldman, who plays Smiley as a very calm, reserved, cold, thoughtful man, uh, with a ton, ton of subtlety in his acting. And um, apart from him, I thought Tom Hardy and Benedict Cumberbatch were honestly pretty good. Everyone else is not far behind, though, and the same can really be said about other aspects, like music and cinematography. And so I think that Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy manages to be this very complete, rounded and uh, consistent package. It aims to be a very specific thing and in my opinion it executes that almost perfectly.